Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Sip Happens, where I'm speaking slower than the failed take we just did. I'm the lesser half of your... Uh, yeah, you got to remember that part. Energy. <laughs> the greater half, Rosie, right here. And uh, we're going to drink some tea. You're not on screen. Be quiet. <laughs> I don't even know if they can hear you. Um, we're going to drink some tea. We're going to talk to some friends. Um, this is 100% on brand. I'm loving it. Yeah. Uh, Rosie, who's our guest today? You might have heard of her. Her name is Ginny Loveday. Ginny Loveday? Yeah. The best-selling D&D designer and editor, the Guild Adept from DMs Guild, the host of Designer's Den, and co-host of D&D Roundtable, social media coordinator for Baldwin Games, and RPG director for Momocon, dungeon master, cosplayer, community leader, and so much more? I think so. Yeah, that sounds right. Cool. I, I know her. She's she's chill. Yeah. She's, yeah, I think she's cool. I mean, I don't know her that well yet, but I plan on learning a bit more about her. But you although with that opening, we don't even really need to have her on, do we? Yeah, no, I feel like they know her. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we're gonna push her and have um Stephen Colbert on instead. Okay. Uh, but what are we drinking? <laughs> what are we drinking tonight, Rosie? Oh, we've got some tea. Where did I put it? That's yeah, right here. Uh this Another dryad, folks. Another dryad mm. tea. Uh, this one is called Mama Dragon. And uh, this is calming and great for digestion. The blend of licorice and mint is sure to make any Mama Dragon happy. Sean, tell us what's in it. Come back to me, focus. Come back. It's gonna... just come on. <laughs> Here, I'll just be real. Uh... It has licorice root, spearmint, and peppermint. Yay! All three, all three ingredients. Let's um, smell it. Yep. That's the part we do next. Ooh, it smells like toothpaste, which is what I think of all mint tea. So I love mint tea, and I love licorice. Um, so. I love licorice. I don't love mint tea. But I'm willing to give this a go because it was one of the teas we both had. Yes, because it was production. Really um, what do really we have to do to make this happen? Really it definitely does smell like toothpaste, though. What? Yeah, it does smell like toothpaste. This one's an interesting combo of directions. Okay, go for it. Herbal tea, five to eight minutes of steeping, 200 or 93 uh, Celsius. So that's pretty hot for an herbal tea. Yeah. But Maybe. I'm going to set my thing anyways. Yeah, All right, well, that's going to take a minute. What should we do while we wait? I guess we should bring our guest on, who's not Stephen Colbert, but still very cool. All right, fine. <laughs> All right, give me, uh, let's let's get let's get everything set up over here. Bum, 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 push in buttons. Hey there, Ginny. Hi. Welcome to Sip Happens. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to uh, see if your tea tastes as good as you think it's going to. That's really the goal, right? I don't think right. it's going to, so it doesn't have a lot to live up to. Mint tea is weird. I have expectations high, are low. I have high standards here, so I'm excited. Ginny, uh, who are you? What do you do? Tell that I didn't already list. Oh man, no. Uh, the introduction was um, a lot. That was a lot. Yeah, uh, which is kind of <laughs> kind of the thing I do uh, too much. <laughs> <laughs> concluded um, too much yeah uh i do too much um mostly dungeons and dragons fifth edition and assorted related things um uh i guess my two current ones that uh i like most are the podcast that i co-host with my better half uh paige lightman um she'll disagree and say that I'm the better half, but this is an argument that we have back and forth. Um, and then um, I am, I guess, a newly minted social coordinator for Bald Men Games, who are the uh, people hosting the monthly D&D virtual weekends in partnership with Wizards of the Coast. So that's been pretty exciting. Um, outside of that, I do D&D uh, &D and D&D and &D accessories. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> 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 I feel very Hank Hill. Um, 
But no, I do, um, oh goodness, a lot of stuff. I um, I have a Twitch show where I interview um, tabletop RPG designers, creators, uh, branching out a little bit into artists. Recently had an extraordinary cartographer on um, and um, do that every week. And then uh, sometimes I write um, less right now than I was before because uh, Sean and I are going to school right now. Uh, oh, I heard that. I heard that Sean needed to get some papers done every freaking session we've recorded since last week. That is true, Sean. Have you written your paper? No. Um, just not <laughs> even a little bit. But you're already uh, in the library. Look. <laughs> I, I am. I am. I've specifically built the setup for, for like streaming and then also for getting work done. And while I've been doing work, none of it has been uh, grad school related. But yeah, Jenny and I are both getting our, can we tell them? Yeah, we're getting Please our MBA. MBA. Right, yeah, we just tell them. We're both getting our MBA from uh, Western Governors University. Yeah. And I'm um, very excited to have another fancy piece of paper to put in the closet. That is, I don't I even know what mine are. That's about as close as mine are. Uh, mine is mine is in a my uh, college my bachelor's degree is in a beautiful frame with matting. My mother got it all done up for me, and it's currently in my storage unit of my condo in Chicago. Yeah, I know I know exactly where it is though, Mom. I haven't lost it. I think mine's in my old childhood bedroom, or perhaps now the attic in my childhood house where my parents still live. That's a good place. Yeah, my, my undergrad diploma hangs next to my father's undergrad diploma. Um, which he got back in the 60s. Uh, and I like that it hangs there. Um, and it will do so until somebody tells me I can't. Probably my mom. Well, <laughs> shit. That is a very cool mug. That is I, um, I'm, I'm drinking from. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little more partial to mine, though. It's it is cute. cute face. Look at this cute face. How can you like not love it? It's like an adorable woodland creature. Mine's also an adorable woodland creature. It's Pizza John. <laughs> Jenny, do not spit out your drink. <laughs> no. Um, yes. Before, before you had your pizza. Had pizza. I just had pizza, so we can talk to you now. <laughs> Dang, we just had a guest on about pizza. I should have had pizza. Our our faithful listeners will remember last week or whenever yeah. we aired it, if we aired it before this, or upcoming episode with Devin Chulik. Um, we talked a lot about pizza, and at the end of it, he was like, I'm going to about pizza. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Devin is also, uh, I don't know if I want to go pizza aficionado, but um, a pizza very enthusiast nice. at the very least. Yeah. Right? Um, yes. 100% true. Mine's yes. already done and poured, so I'm just waiting oh, for it now. Okay, well, then I'll get the, I'll do the thing. Um, yes, so I'm to add, uh, point one ounces of tea to your... Infuser. One ounce of tea. One. For like the first two episodes uh, we recorded, Jenny, I kept saying one ounce of tea and being like, these packages come with three ounces of tea. No, they don't. They come with 0. 0.3 ounces of tea. I'm a bad person. So that's yeah. uh, Well, that's because you need very little tea, which is good because when you go and you buy fancy teas and they're like $30 a pound, you're like, what? And then you realize that you only need like an ounce of it. So it's cool. <laughs> I mean, an ounce of it should make you between like 11 and 15 cups. Right. So, right. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So mine is now poured. How does it smell? I didn't actually lift it up to smell like, it yet. Like it's turning in? yellow like your urine, I am noticing. I don't know if yours is doing that. I can't tell. It's too dark. Oh, well, yeah. Um, what are you is, drinking? What am I drinking? Yeah. yeah. I am drinking um, not a tea because all of the ones I had were caffeinated and I need to sleep. So I have put together a delicious strawberry lemonade. Ooh. I don't know what you're talking about sleep. It's only noon when this airs in our time zone, in the Eastern time zone. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But, <laughs> you know, woodland creatures sleep at all hours of the day. <laughs> Good save. Good save. Solid. <laughs> Um, but, um, yeah, I contemplated also putting, um, a lot of gin in it, but, um, the child was out and about and the tea, and, and, and the tea, the lemonade was just sitting here. So I'm like, there should probably not be alcohol in it. Is that in your tea? No, no, I don't drink it. <laughs> 
Just there for <laughs> roommates' needs. I know. I know. This bar, this bar cart is a uh, multi layer. So we have our tea accessories, and then we have teacups down here. And then uh, the bottom layer is the the Bowden to Sean. It is all alcohol. It um, is actually kind of colored like tea, which is about as close as you'll get. That's mm -hmm. fair. Do you so do you like tea in general when it's not? I I do. I love tea. And then I as I am from the south, I also love to um butcher tea, as anyone from the rest of the world would say. <laughs> um I, have I had a glass of sweet tea earlier. <laughs> I mean, it's tea. I'll I'll take it, right? It's a suspension of leaf matter in water. Yeah, it's black it's black tea with water and sugar and it's yeah. cold. Um, but no, I do actually enjoy um, a proper hot tea, herbal or um, otherwise. Uh, I have a delicious blueberry black tea. Um, actually, actually, I have three different variants of blueberry black tea because I had some. <laughs> I know, right? I had some from Argos. Um, and then I bought some from a local tea shop, uh, well, local tea company. Um, sold at local tea shops in Chicago that I couldn't tell you the name of if I wanted to, other than that it says Blueberry Black on it. <laughs> the okay. name of the company has long since faded off of the 10. <laughs> and then and then I have a Blueberry Black tea that has a little bit of, like, almost like a lemon zest to it that I got um, at, the, at a market here in Lansing, Michigan. Really cool. Um, yeah. So um, is blueberry black kind of like your go-to blend? Um it's a it's it's a, it's it's a very comforting blend. Um, but I do tend to like when I'm doing the black tea, um, go for like er, um fruity accompaniments to that versus like when I'm doing an herbal tea, um you know, obviously more er herbal than fruity. Um I don't really like like a raspberry chamomile or anything like that. Um, chamomile should go with like, you know, lavenders and mints and l lemon is about the fruitiest we get because citrus goes well with it. But, um, yeah, but some blueberry, raspberry, passion fruit. I've got a citrus and guava, uh, green tea. Mm -hmm. Nice. Green teas are that interesting, like in between you're like, am I going to sleep or not? I've had a little caffeine, but was it too much? <laughs> probably not probably not and then you go to lay down in bed and you're like actually yeah no it was and your legs are just doing this and you're like come on legs you can hold still and it probably would have been fine if i had a, a cup of green tea but the whole pot was a bit much <laughs> <laughs> so you've never had too much green tea before bed is what you're saying <laughs> oh no never not 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 Dozens of times. <laughs> I carefully yeah, learned the error yeah. of my way the first time. <laughs> my dad drinks like seven or eight cups of tea a day, like just at all hours. And then is like, okay, cool, I'm going to bed now. Bye. Like, there's this no that level of caffeine he is inured to, apparently. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, so week. and that's 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 pretty much um my mom. I made a, a whole pitcher of tea. She came to visit not terribly long ago. And um, she complains about sleeping and she's drinking her tea and then like she's getting ready for bed and she pours a cup of tea and I'm like, I'm not going <laughs> to say anything. <laughs> I'm just going to. But note it. <laughs> there may be a correlation between the problems here. But um, maybe not. That's but maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, she too is from the South, so uh, the caffeine itself is probably not the problem <laughs> because tea consumption, like, you know, a lot of Southerners, you might as well just hook up the IV of sweet tea. I love I sweet tea. My partner dislikes tea that is sweet. He will always get plain tea when we go out. But I, I know, I love sweet tea. I know you said I you don't... liked him there for a minute, Sean, but I did not I tell did. you his deep, Between dirty episodes, secret. I was like, yeah, Matt seems great. Like, can I say his name? Oops. Yeah, I don't care. All right, great. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't think my partner likes uh, sweet tea either. I haven't really asked him, but he didn't drink any when I made it. Can we say his name? Alan? <laughs> now I'm just asking questions. Um, coming can up we say your time. name, Sean? I mean, can oh. you say my real name? Uh, maybe. 
I, I can spell it. <laughs> That's true. It's very impressive. Uh, my real name for those playing along at home is Shomojit. S H O U M A J I T. It means conqueror of reality because my mom had low expectations. <laughs> Well, it turns out um, your mother was more of a, a prophet because you are indeed a conqueror of reality as you run many, many fantasy games. This is true. Just kind of one of the ways we know each other. Yeah, one of. I don't know how else we would know each other. It's definitely how we met. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, we met, we met, we met from that. But like, you know, we hang out and do other things besides D and D. Yeah, now we're, we're um we also we know each other greatly from organizing things together that's really how you learn uh, how one is as a person oh yeah i meant to ask i might as well do it in a recording am i helping with momocon again this year do you still need me to come aboard as whatever my role was last year then when it that didn't happen um we're we're in a bit of a holding pattern but uh Ooh, potentially you... yes potentially well, no that's fine like, I don't have enough going on. Like, I'm here if you need me, is what I'm saying. Yeah. No, it'll um, be later. Cool. So, social media coordinator for Baldwin Games. Mm -hmm. Is that your latest addition to the slew? That is my latest addition to the slew of things that I do. Uh, I'm going to have to trim some of them from my biography at some point because it's a bit much. People start trying to, they try to, like, list all of them. And I'm like, you could just pick a few. <laughs> just, just whatever, whatever ones you like. <laughs> um, I, but yeah, I no. that yes. Um, but uh, yes, my latest one, I've been doing that for, um, well, I've been doing it for a couple of months, but officially I've been doing it for about a month um, since it was announced to the world at large. Um, but um, yeah, in that role, I've been... Um, Manning the social media accounts, sending out some newsletters. Um, well, setting back up the newsletter things so we can send out newsletters, and um, <laughs> and, and generally promoting the um, all of the virtual events that are ongoing. Um, I don't know when you're airing this one, um, so uh, I think yeah. Uh, well, Every the next month. one we have, <laughs> the next one we have. Uh, after this recording is the actually not a virtual weekend. It's the Winter Fantasy Weekend, February third through seventh. Um, definitely but, airing uh, this after that. Yeah, that's definitely over. So that's, so that's probably like the last one. What or a good time one. we all had, though, right? I ran so many Eberron games. Um, I, 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 I'm already looking forward to um, actually uh, to playing in one of your games, and I had a lot of fun in it. We're time traveling right now <laughs> so <cool. laughs> uh but yeah uh the march one then probably will be the next show march virtual i don't know possibly. it depends i don't know we do one every every month <laughs> please <laughs> sign up for a newsletter to find out more information <laughs> actually you yeah you can, uh Not I, have ours. <laughs> I was like wait what, I, what? <laughs> yes i mean you've been working on it I mean, well, Sean, you too are part of the Baldwin Games family, and Rosie can be as well, so it is ours. There we go. There we go. There we go. Um, but yeah, no, you can sign up for the newsletter on our Facebook page. I added a button, so that way I could just tell people to go click it. Very cool. <laughs> You're very smart, Jenny. <laughs> What's the link? Just go to the Facebook page. It says <laughs> newsletter, sign up. <laughs> click it. Just click it. Please leave me alone. <laughs> I think we've reached our sleeping time. Yeah, I feel like Ooh. we have. It's not a pleasing color for me, but also I have a white cup, so you can really see everything in there. Yeah, I have a red cup in a relatively dark room. <laughs> All of my lights are LED and look bad if they're too bright. Clink, clink, clang, says the infuser. I'm so not excited. I'm so sorry. I feel bad. I'm not excited about this tea. I don't like mint that much. Yeah, you can like different things. Do you want to pretend like you're drinking tea with us? Yes. Oh! Though, though, I might be excited now. The licorice is strong. Oh, that's wow. not what I expected. Not at all. I love this. I don't love it, but I definitely don't hate it. So that's exciting. It's like, okay, so initial thoughts, right? It's still pretty hot. Um, <laughs> strong licorice flavor, strong mint, but like, 
on the back end yeah sweet kick that is so interesting oh like a sweet like a spearmint then versus like a yes yeah yes, it, has, yes. it has both peppermint and spearmint in it but yeah the spearmint really shines through and i wouldn't say it's well all right i am inured to licorice flavors because i eat dutch licorice like it's rice which is not good don't do it it's bad for you it's a lot of salt um but uh I would say that the licorice flavor in this isn't too strong. No, I like licorice. Not maybe not the same way that you do, but I do like licorice. So that flavor like doesn't bother me, and I I actually find it very pleasant. There's almost like if a liquid could have like a thickness to it, like I can almost feel like the the licorice is in there. It's got like that to it. Nice. It's good. Yeah. All I mean, right. What do you think of it? <laughs> you know, I think that uh, I also love licorice, and um, it sounds like something I would like to try. <laughs> there you go. Um, my mine taste. Um, let's see. There's strong notes of strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. I don't get that at all. Yeah. Um, and definitely some lemon. Mm -hmm. So, I just want to acknowledge how uh, how amazing both of you look um and how like red green blue we are like the rgb of it all is amazing i love it that is good um but yeah we we we's a bunch of fancy bitches so sometimes i mean i am i'm a dramatic fancy bitch. no i'm literally Defin wearing mine stuff definitely the first one dramatic yeah Are you saying you don't think i'm fancy Jenny? occasionally all right fair that's fair. There are times that I'm not. You've see, you've seen me at my low points. Also, sometimes it's just bougie instead of fancy. That's a good word for it. Thank you for giving me that for next episode or the one after that. <laughs> I love all of these reviews of me. <laughs> but you do. You've got your fancy dress robes on. I do. Yeah, this is definitely my my fanciest of robes. Uh, next time we go real fancy, like not just. Like not just suit fancy, but like real fancy, evening wear fancy. I'll wear my white tuxedo. Christ, I'm gonna need to go buy new clothes. So <laughs> you just have to get something with a good neckline. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, you only have to care about this part. You guys don't mm -hmm. see that the rest of this is terrible. It's just all racist. Yeah, I'm gonna still need to go clothes shopping. I got rid of a lot of things. So mm -hmm. It's all good. I want to go clothes shopping. I love clothes. I don't right now because I just got like eight pair of new socks, so I don't really need anything. <laughs> I like that new socks is like it. <laughs> that was what I needed. I needed I needed socks because I was wearing a hole in mine, and with you know the weather getting down to like single digits frequently in the winter, I'm like, yeah, I can't have cold feet, and like my toe is poking out of half my socks. So I put it on my Christmas list not once. Not twice, but three times, just to be sure everybody knew that I needed socks. And so I have um, like six pairs of aloe infused ones, and then um, and then some just like oh. really thick wool socks. And I'm just like, yes, my family does love me. Wool socks got are my absolute favorite thing in the world. Uh, the first winter, my partner and I were together. We uh, took a week up in a one-room schoolhouse in Andes, New York, and it was the most best, coolest thing ever I've done. Um, and it was fucking freezing at that time. Yeah. It was February <laughs> or March, but either way, it was still cold. And we bought wool socks, and I still have them, and I love them, and I put them on, and I've bought more pairs to go, and it just makes me happy. Wool socks are great. I live in Georgia and grew up in Florida, and socks are awful, and shoes are caskets for feet. You know, if I can get away with wearing, I mean, I have some very nice shoes that I've designed, and I love them, and they're very comfortable. But, well, that's, but where I, that's where I wear so, socks, because I don't want shoes. Yeah. I, I only wear socks with shoes because I don't want, like, my sweaty Blister. feet ruining my shoes. That too. Yeah. Like, let's be honest. But, um... I I hate things covering my feet. I grew up barefoot in, you know, the Florida swamps, and that is the way it should be. I mean, I also love being barefoot when my feet are warm. When it's cold outside, 
you know, it's like That's a sweater for my foot. Yeah, I've, I've always been a big dude and I've always been like, I always radiate heat. So I've never been in a place where I'm like, hmm, I'm very happy I'm covered in clothing. I am <laughs> so. always cold. Yeah, I, I do feel, Sean, like you are the type to be mostly naked when it's five degrees outside just because you're inside and you're warm. That's true. Outside is the enemy. Um, but even when I lived up north, like uh, like if I went outside my apartment and I was like walking to classes and there like if if there wasn't snow like where I had to walk, like if the walkways were were paved, sandals, like Birkenstocks. That's it. Um, never any socks. I don't I think my feet have been cl like cold twice in my entire life. My feet are cold right now. That's insane. To me. Well, I mean, you're you um so now the guy in my my neighborhood in my condo who walks around in the winter even when there's like a foot of snow in his flip-flops and board shorts is going to remind me of you. Good. Wait. Is it is that is, that, is he like is he a chill dude? Oh, he's very nice. Because I, oh. I've definitely stopped him more than once. Are you cold? Aren't you cold? <laughs> you Where should be you cold. <laughs> Don't you realize it's snowing? Actively <laughs> snowing? Where are your pants? <laughs> uh, but he's super nice. Uh, he gets that question a lot. I'm sure. I got that a lot when I was, when I was up north. Um, I have fleece-lined pants to go out in in the winter. Well, yeah, also live in a cold place, right? Like it gets cold and colder. Close. Denver. It, nowhere that's a, yeah, so, sure, somewhere between the two. I'm like right between. The, I'm on the like yeah, I'm on the front front line though. We're like close. Okay. It gets so, cold there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was like seven degrees out yesterday morning. One of our one of our in like the mountains. One of our chief goals in life, my partner and I, uh, is to never live in a place that it snows again unless we're getting ridiculous money to be there. I got bad news for you. It's going to snow every year. If you live long enough, it's going to snow. You're going to have to pretty much go to the equator. I'm fine with that. I mean, like, right. Atlanta doesn't get real snow. Like, I know that, like, every there's snow apocalypse every, like, once every two years or so. Then. But I'm talking about like snow that sticks around and coats my car. And I can't remember where I parked. Yeah, no, snow apocalypse, snow mageddon, whatever you wanted to call it in Atlanta. Sean isn't le is leaving out for the people who aren't familiar with it. It was um, a quarter inch of snow. Yeah, yeah, which is, which is dangerous in a place where it'll get warm enough to melt it and then cold enough nice. to freeze it back into black ice. And people don't really know how to drive in winter weather, and there isn't like a infrastructure to deal with it. But right, so it was funny. actually truly more of an ice mageddon, and if people call it that, I wouldn't poke fun at them. But, but the, they try to make it out like it was the snow, which is hilarious. I mean, do people understand the difference? Atlantans, get in the comments. No, nothing. So <laughs> <Snow> nice. <laughs> um, no, no. I sent my mother out on the road. My mother from the south, in like four inches of snow the other day and it snowed her entire six hour drive and I was just like the whole time like please don't die please don't die please don't die because <laughs> she doesn't know how to drive in snow that's, yeah. cool. that's super fair she also didn't know where she was so she's following her GPS and driving in snow and it's just Oof. like no uh, no no, like no. 11, 11 hours later she arrived at her six hour away destination though so she was fine yeah hey I... we'll really get there slowly yeah, that's true. There's a, um, so when, in the before times when you could go see people, I would teach in person and my classes are always at night. And so there's this stretch of road from where I teach to where I live. There's no lights. There's like no buildings. There's nothing. And I have driven on it, um, on two separate occasions and it has been completely blacked out like your headlights are catching the snow and it's just coming at you like you know like warp speed style and you can't see and you don't know where you are at all and it is the most terrifying thing in the entire world and I just pull over and just put my flash on and I'm just like if I don't die that's good and I'll just hang out here for the rest of the night like we'll just wait till we can see 
It's terrifying. It's, it's a little exciting for like the first five seconds when you're like, oh, warp speed. And then you're like, I can't see. <laughs> yeah, because there's like no, like no one has driven. So it's just white. Like the road is just white and then blackness because your headlights don't reach it. And I don't have dark vision, which is ridiculous. And so it's I just know. terrifying. It's um, gotta rewrite, the, rewrite the handbook. Humans get dark vision next time. I agree. Sixth edition. Or I could get the goggle. I mean, the goggles could go over my glasses. I'm cool with that. I'll even accept that for now. Yeah. Night vision goggles are a real thing that you can go buy, right? Yeah, sure. but I don't want like big, giant night vision goggles. I want little like steampunk goggles that are goggles of night. They're basically glasses, but you know, they padded, whatever. Click, click. <laughs> I mean, Jenny um, and I are on the same page here. I, th I feel like you are. I feel like I can Dainty same. little night vision goggles. Dainty. Delicate. Yeah. yeah. I, I knew that I would get out outmaneuvered and outgunned on this one. <laughs> on this show, I mean, putting the two of you together. So, Jenny, what other, do you have any projects that are coming out soon? By which I mean sometime in the next six months. <laughs> projects coming up soon. That you can um, talk about. I am working on some editing stuff um, for some Esper Genesis stuff. I don't know the timeline for its release, though, because uh, the Esper Genesis guys are swamped with life and um, life. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. Two very uh, annoying things. <laughs> life and li I should say life and life in the pandemic. Yeah. Very annoying, but definitely separate. Um, and then um, I'm mostly right now working on kind of expanding, I guess, my Twitch show lineup. Um, other people, uh, producing shows for other people on my channel. Um, so hmm. I've got one, oh, well, two that I'm doing regularly right now, aside from my own show. I'm producing um, Jeff Stevens' Jeff Talks RPGs, where he talks to all kinds of cool people about various subjects. He talked to Ed Greenwood uh, last, uh, the, uh, the last one I recorded, and like, I'm producing it, sitting on the back end, like, it's Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Except, you know, like, I'm on Zoom, too, so, like, they can see my, my mouth or I can type stuff, but I'm not on the screen, right? And so, like, anytime he'd say something really funny, like, I, I have no poker face. <laughs> you know what I feel. Mean. So I'm just like cackling, and he's trying not to laugh. It was, good. Um, but yeah. So that one, and then I do the monthly Baldman Games um, informational update. Hmm. I'm on that one, but I also produce it. That's awesome. We have cool, cool co-hosts every month. Uh, just random Baldman Games people because everyone is cool, and they all deserve a chance if they yeah, want to be on camera. I've really enjoyed uh, getting plugged into Baldman this year. Um, uh, January uh, virtual uh, VDDW was my first Baldman show. So that was like very smooth. I felt like I learned a lot. It, was, it, was mm -hmm. it is a great group. Um, so we're pretty excited about the you know, winter fantasy every year because it's pretty much like a homecoming for your family that you actually love all of them, mostly. Yeah. Sometimes there's that one person who annoys you, but they don't always show up with family reunions, you know? Yeah, that one. <laughs> Rude. It's not like he can hear me. You have headphones in. Um... He can. <laughs> I looked anyway. <laughs> I checked anyways. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, we have Alan coming on in a, in a few weeks, I think. Um, looking forward to that. Yeah, Rosie, he's got a bunch of cool projects. That's what you're going to want to talk about. We'll we'll see. We'll see in like you know March 2022 when we have our next guest. We, yes. Rosie and I were talking earlier about how absolutely nuts it is. So as of recording this, no episodes have been broadcast. No one's seen this except for Rosie. I've only watched like five minutes. That's what um, I like. I mean, I will. I'll watch I it know. Tomorrow. But, I know. Uh, I'm just giving you shit. Okay, good. Um, we have what? We're like fully booked through the end of March. Every Friday, three guests recording. Yep. And uh, no one has even seen it. 
Yeah. No one knows what they're signing up for yet. Just, uh, oh, just to hang out with Sean mostly. All right, be, be clear here. Like, I didn't ask any questions either. You're like, do you want to be on this show? And I'm like, yeah. What, when do you record it? And you tell me when you record it. And I'm like, can we do one of the times that's not those times? <laughs> that was the only question I had. Not, what are we doing? But, uh, can you, like, go outside of your normal schedule for me? <laughs> yeah, that was it. You're not the yeah, only one to have asked that. Like, and that's yeah. fine. We'll we'll do whatever we can to accommodate our guests. Um, but, yeah. Especially two- cool guests. If you weren't a cool guest, we maybe wouldn't have accommodated you. But you're cool. It's a good thing were- can you show me what it is? And I was like, uh, after Wednesday, I can. And they're like, all right, we'll talk then. <laughs> yeah, no one, none none of the people I know have asked me about it specifically or to like see it. They're just like, sure, here's when I'm free. It's like, okay. Yeah, I, I do kind of appreciate like easygoing podcast guests. Uh, a lot of the people who come on my, my Twitch show, like, I like, you want to be on the show? And then they're like, yeah. And like, nobody's like, okay, so what are we going to talk about? Usually I'm the one who's like, Okay, so like we're gonna talk about something you made or something you like or something you hate or something that you wish you made. I don't know something, and then we're just gonna talk about so. ostensibly, ostensibly your design philosophy, but it never works out that way. We just talk <laughs> about whatever. Yep, that's how ours has been shaping up so far, which is great. Ours is, yeah, ours is designed to be an afternoon of, or I guess late morning, early afternoon. Uh, like have some tea, hang out. We'll yep. hopefully have a class. We're super awkward. I have Ginny over here on my screen and uh, Rosie over here. So when I look this way and that way, that's who I'm looking at. Really, I should just look here. Yeah, in general. So Ginny, all of us are now Twitch creators. This will be this is yes. the first running Twitch show. Um, how did you feel about our back end coming on as a guest? Give us a review awesome. of how how well our onboarding of you as a guest went. Um, so your guest collection sheet was very well laid out and it was very clear, um, at least to me who reads directions, what I needed to do. So that was nice. Um, you're still gonna have people who aren't gonna read it. So that's fine. that'll be a thing. People who don't even see that you sent it to them. Um, yeah. I-, I was one of those people at first. Uh, but and then, then you, you started running put, your own show and needed to collect information and knew how annoying it no, was. Oh. No, actually, but, but then he asked Alan if he had filled it out. And then I was like, oh, I should do that. Mm. So there's a thing that goes. Uh, so, uh, yeah. But no, um, the, the the rest of the back end, the OBS Ninja, is a pretty cool setup uh, that was very intuitive. You, you click to join, and then you click to set up your microphone webcam, and then that's it. Nice. And then Rosie does whatever Rosie does on the other side. Which I really don't understand or know. So uh, Thank God for Ben, though. Because if Ben had not helped us that first day, I, this wouldn't happen. This would not be happening right now. Uh, that's Ben Heisler. Um, yeah. Uh, who is my, my better half's better half? That's, yeah. Who is, Ben Heisler is my better half. Yeah, um, I, would, I would agree with that as well. I think we're all your better half. Everyone's better than me. <laughs> that's not true. Super not true. <laughs> that's true. I do. I am better than some children. Um, but no. So we had an episode zero that we've talked about a few times now, and Ben came on and helped us. Like, like we we did what like two three hours of like working out all the tech glitches and making sure everything was set so that it's on rail as on rails as it can be going forward. Right. Um, the tech is on rails. The people are not. No. No. That's important. Yeah. I had my first episode uh, that I recorded for a good portion of it. People, I was people were having trouble hearing my guest. And then my second episode I recorded, like I fixed that problem. But then they were having trouble hearing me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know, I've kind of ironed it out since then. Mostly, every now and again, we'll get like um, a couple of seconds of didn't switch the audio and like. We'll go and then like somebody will start talking. That'll be oh, <laughs> uh, Jenny, uh, do you re- pre-record or are you live on Twitter? <laughs> live, fuck it, oh, we're yeah. doing it live. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, because otherwise, then I'd have to edit, and I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna be honest with myself. And if I'm not I've editing already, it, why not? That's why fair. not do it live? I've on from the get-go, 
hey, we'll pre-record these because of our schedule. And like, if we did want to get guests, we would need to give them a schedule too. But uh, the editing I'm going to do is add a screen on the front that says we're starting soon and a screen at the end that says, thank you, Who's this is who's coming next week. And that's it. So whatever we do in between stays. Yep, and I'm fine with that because uh, this is a nice way to like relax, hang out with some cool people and just be just be my weird goofy self. And, and drink tea. tea. And drink tea. How else am I going to get through 75 sample packets? <laughs> Where um, did you get 75 sample packets of tea? Uh, Dryad Tea um, has what they call a battle box. And it's 75 of these. Um, like point three, three ounces. Sample. Yeah, point three ounces. Three cups. Three <laughs> ounces. It's a box. <laughs> it comes in several boxes. It's like five or six. Large it's like box. a cake. It's a like pallet a cake. delivery. <laughs> yeah, they do freight to drop it off. Um, but no, yeah, they have a uh, on their website. We're not sponsored by Dryad yet. Yet. Um, Dryad. But, uh, we do like some of their stuff, and I was like, I want to try it all. Uh, and then I talked Rosie into doing that too. And then we were like, Well, we both have all the same teas now. Let's review them on, <laughs> on Twitch. Uh, so here we are. Yep, that's that's our origin story. I like that you decided you wanted tea and in order to truly enjoy the tea somehow suddenly you had to make a twitch podcast it's a logical jump yeah that well it sense. was like sean and i weren't doing enough together already on like behind the scenes stuff so we were like what is something else we could do where we could spend more time together yeah that's that's actually constantly what um you know we're asking each other and so we decided what could we do so we could uh, just pester each other more often? Let's go to school. Yeah. <laughs> Genius idea that was. Yeah, I feel like you're getting, I'm getting the better end of this deal. I'm not going to school unless I might get my PhD someday, but not not today. Right now, you know, all Sean's getting is me pestering him about his papers. How are you doing? How are you doing on your papers? We're in the same three classes. Yeah, uh, I have the second paper for the second course, 90% finished. I've got to put my summary on it and then turn it in. Second paper for the second course? Well, I, you know, I did the second course first. Right, same so thing. Okay. So the second paper for the first course, which we both hopscotch. Which will be our second. <laughs> yeah, Is so I'm about to start the third course. Yeah, you're a paper and 90% ahead of me. <laughs> I know, you haven't started yeah. the first course. I mean, I've read stuff. Listen, I have learning disabilities, <laughs> which is true, but also I should do it. That's a, that, yes, it, it, true, but you shouldn't use it as an excuse. No, I will, I will do my things uh, probably in the month of March. Because I'll be in like, I have 30 days left. Hmm? We still have a whole, it's like not even February yet. Yeah, no, I'm aware. But he has I'm, two classes to do. I have two classes, which I think works out to three papers, two for the first one, and one for the, is it four papers? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have four papers to write before the end of I love writing papers. You want to do mine? Kind so of. No. <laughs> what is the topic, though? <laughs> like, it's, I only like writing things I'm interested in. Yeah, it's stuff that you wouldn't really be interested in. Uh, the first class is um, on leadership and leadership styles. Mm -hmm. Is it leadership really? Theory? Because, like, yeah. you know I'm a leadership major, right? I have my... You have a master's in leadership. Master's in leadership. I'm, like, staring at my books, like, oh, hey, books. How you doing? It's been a long time since we hung out. Have yeah, but you know, the, the beginner's leadership courses are all, like, the boring, like, leadership philosophy and theory that no one even likes anymore. It's when you get further into it, you're like, okay, now this shit's cool. The first is like, mm. let's talk about all the theories of leadership that we've thought of since like the 1800s. And then we're going to tell you why we don't like them. You're like, oh, if we don't we like only them, tested them on why do we even, white men? Yeah, why do we even care about them anymore if, they're, 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 if we've determined they're useless? Um, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was my actual pet peeve when I was doing the second paper. Like, how I know we're getting like? towards our time here, but let me tell you about my introductory leadership course, Leadership 550. I'm ready. God. 90 students in a classroom were all like in stadium seating. My 
Professor Dr. Monroe, who turned out to also be a nun, which was absolutely insane to me to put those two together later in life, sits down in front of the class. There are 10 TAs, 10 or 11 TAs as well. Oh, all sorts of memories just came back. Hang on a second. Um, <laughs> sits down in front of the class and every class from beginning to end, how would you like to begin? Sit. And then we would all talk for about an hour. Then we broke into, this was a three hour class once a week. We would break into small group, do small group. We would do like a leadership issue. So somebody who was facing a particular leadership challenge, we would break it apart using different theories we were reading about. Then we would go back to the large group and one group would present it. And then the professor would like break it down further for us. It's the weirdest fucking class I ever took in my entire life. I hated it for almost all of it until we got maybe a few weeks from the end and I started to realize like literally, oh my God, I'm gonna tell a story right now. Okay, so my later, so I signed up for all my next semester class. I know this was, but it's getting worse. I signed up for my next semester classes with two of them with this professor, uh, Dr. Green. And I was like, everyone's like, he's cool. He's fun. He's like a travel, like a visiting professor. You know, you should take a class with him. So I signed up for two classes with him. We are almost at the end of, this first course and he's one of the TAs. So him and this other, I don't even remember who the student was, both like dark skinned people are fighting with each other, right? Like they're arguing with each other. And Dr. Green turns around and he goes, of course it'd be the two fucking black people who are yelling at each other, just holding that. And I was like, okay, Dr. Green, I took how many classes with you? And then we like broke down how, of course, like black people are holding the anger for the rest of the group and none of us are holding it and we're letting them fight it out for us. And I was like, how many classes am I taking with you next semester? And then next semester, he's like, all right, students, we're gonna open class for meditation 30 minutes early, just come on in. We never turn the lights on once in that class. Different man in that class. It was an incredibly, I learned a whole hell of a lot those two years. It was wonderful. I love you, that Dr. Green. Took, I miss you so much. That story took so many turns. So I was still not yeah. sure. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about no, Dr. Green. Like, yeah. I don't he, I don't He did I tell you I told you, Sean, that I took a class called of Love and Leadership and like I that he was the professor for that class. He really? was the one who like saved my life. I don't like that mugs are left-handed if you want to see what's on them. Mine has it on both sides. Yeah, mine has different things. So you get the nice John Green and then you get the same. Don't all you have is a, all you oh, have yeah. is his butt. Yeah, that's well, just, maybe it's for you to look at so you can enjoy it while you're drinking. Yeah, that's true too. I mean, that's probably actually right, but it's still, if I want to show it to people on camera, it's a left-handed mug, and this is so annoying, I'm not going to lie. You got this. I mean, if I didn't have the little ear to put my thumb on, I might not. <laughs> Good thing there's no gin in it, or rum, or whatever you're going to put in it, otherwise you'd really be having problems. I could use two hands. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Um... Well, we've talked about RPGs, we've talked about Twitch production, we've talked about racist professors? No, and it wasn't about... racist! It was a, we were learning about how... Never mind. I'll... Look, listen, it's not a grad school class I've ever taken. I will take your word on it if it that, that he wasn't racist and had a better, had a greater I mean, point. he was black, or probably still is. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, I said he was black, but I realized like he is black. So that listen, I'm tired. We've been doing this all day. I'm getting my mm. episode five. Now. That's as far as we made it before we got canceled. That's great. It was the probably still is that got me. The yeah, probably. I was just, <laughs> I was just when being... you said he was black, and when you said I miss him, I assumed he had passed away. Oh no, I no. doubt it. He's probably yeah. still around. I see him post on LinkedIn. <laughs> Anyways, so Ginny, well, wait, tell Ginny about our rating system. Oh, yeah, so we have a rating system for our teas. Um, 
it goes from zero to cinco. Uh -huh. um, so zero stars is bad. Would recommend against. Um, one star is fine. Would not order. Would drink to be polite. Are you talking to one of your dogs? I haven't decided what I'm going to rate this yet. Ah, got it. Uh, two is below average, would drink, wouldn't buy. Uh, three is good, would buy, not preferred. Four is great, will order again. And five is awesome, must keep on hand, daily driver. So how are you feeling, Rosie? I don't, I think probably a three for this. Fair enough. That's higher than I thought it would be, considering it's all mint. I was expecting a two, based on commentary. Yeah, yeah I, I was expecting a two as well from, from Rosie. Like, I, I don't know that I would seek it out necessarily and buy it, but as we've talked about before, like, if it came in a multi-pack, which it did, um, if it came in a multi-pack of a few different teas, I wouldn't be upset that it was there. Okay. Isn't that what we decided a three was? Yeah, that's one hundred percent what a three is. Um, this is a five for me. I'm gonna. This is this is maybe the best tea that I've had from them, and I'm I'm gonna keep it on hand and drink it all the time because I love the Kirsch. Oh, that's good. Then I'll be able to try it when they come visit. Yeah, when you know the, the pandemic is, you know, in the someday, after. <laughs> the after. What does it take? Likes to say uh, next year in Jerusalem. Um, you know, it's soon TM. <laughs> <laughs> um, but very cool. So, yeah. What would you rate your drink, Jenny? Yeah. Um, well, I, I guess I'd I have to say five because we're running low on it in the fridge. I'm like, oh, I put it on the list. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good indicator. That is good. <laughs> Yes, um, so it's this one or the raspberry one, but I mean, they're pretty much the same drink. Raspberry, strawberry, you know. Hmm. Yeah, um, so delicious. Ginny, where can Ginny. we find you? Ha ha, beat you to it. I love it. You can find me in this beautiful library. No. Um, <laughs> you probably don't want people showing up at your door, so maybe where we can find you online. Yeah, well, this isn't this isn't my library. I don't know who it belongs to. <laughs> They're gonna come yell at me to get out of their house. Um, no, uh, <laughs> obviously, um, you can find me online. Um, all of my accounts are uh, so Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch. Um, still fighting with YouTube about getting it all sorted out, but we'll get there eventually, maybe. But anyways, it's all under my name, Jenny Loveday. That's G-I-N-N-Y. In case she doesn't have it below, she probably does. Um, but you know, uh, I can't see that, so m much like my guest, I spelled it anyways. Um, <laughs> and we'll and, have it in the chat popping up, too, so you'll have and, it there. Yeah, and you can find me hanging about on the Baldwin Games accounts, as well as at most of the Baldwin Games events online. So, um, if you want to come hang out uh, on video and see my face, maybe play some D and D. Uh, that one, that one's great. If you want to just see see me type stuff, all the other ones are good. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. What about you, Rosie? Working with you, Rosie underscore Games, Twitter only, please, folks. It's the only thing I use. Um, at yep. Sean Banerjee, pretty much everywhere. What? What is uh this? Oh, I was going to you. Oh, you're you're yeah. We're so we're so in <laughs> harmony. Um, uh, at Sean Banerjee on uh, on Twitter um, for uh, for reviews of just just nothing, nothing at all. Great. And yeah, um, and at Sean Banerjee on YouTube. Although the only things on there are unboxing of the Firefly. Crate from Loot Crate from a while ago, but this and show hopefully will... some of these old episodes will show up there. Yeah, these sh these shows will be on VOD um, on my YouTube channel, so uh, go forth and check in the out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with us today, Jenny. Yeah, no, thank you. This has been a delight, and I'm 
Just sorry that I didn't know that you were going to have that tea, or I might have gotten it. We'll, we'll try to do a better job in the yeah. future. Yeah, in the future, you'll put it on someone's, on this date, we're going to be drinking this tea. Are you available? <laughs> that's, that would yeah, be that's smart. I think yeah. Devin wanted us to make a list of teas so that he can order them if they watch an, if he watches an episode and likes the, it sounds like he likes the tea we try. Yeah. So Sean's might. on that's Sean's job. Right. You could um, you could just put the put a link to to Dryad after they sponsor you. <laughs> here's hoping. Um, um yeah, thanks, thank audience. you for tuning in. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll tweet them when I tweet about this episode after you post it. <laughs> you should sponsor these kids, these folks. Yeah, or like but, if anyway, like a discount code so that people who watch our show can order the tea at a, like ten percent off or something. Or if they just I want to send that a big box of that would be cool. <laughs> I'll take all of those things, one of every, please. Money, uh, please. Money. <laughs> all right. Well, with that. I'm out of juice. I don't know if you finished your tea. Yeah, um, I did. I'm so close to finishing it, and I'm going to be sad when it's done. Okay. Uh, thank you all for coming in, and as we like to say, sip happens. Sip happens. Sip happens. <laughs>